Hi, it's Kyle from Biteland Games, and today we're learning how to play Kabuto Sumo Sakura Slam. This is a standalone game, so you don't need the base game to play it. But if you don't know how to play Kabuto Sumo, go ahead and check out that video, just so you can learn the basics of the game. Did you do it? Yes, there's no way to check. Alright, in Sakura Slam, players are beetles or other insects wrestling on this square sumo ring. Players will take turns pushing their discs onto the ring. The first player to knock off an opponent wins the game. Let's take a look at the setup. And this is a prototype, so your version will look a little bit different than mine. And you'll have an actual box, not a PNG overlay. Alright, onto the setup. Set out the sumo ring and pushing platform. Place the four posts into the corners. Create a supply of small, medium, and large tokens. Players select a player color, taking the cardboard and wood tokens, and the four player tags. Mine are cubes, yours will be discs. Set up the board for your player count. Here's the setup for a two-player game. Remember to place the title belt on the centerpiece. Here's the setup for a three-player game. And for a four-player game. If playing the beginner mode, the junior variant, each player selects a wrestler and takes the starting inventory. Players don't have any special powers, so you're ready to jump into the wrestling. If playing with the standard wrestlers, each player will select one wrestler, take their signature piece, and put it into the supply, not their personal inventory. Each player begins the game with one medium and two small discs. The youngest player starts the game, and turns will go clockwise. And the last player to go will place one of their tokens on any of the corner posts. On your turn, you will align the platform to one of the four corners. If I wanted to push from this corner, I could place the pushing platform here, or here. If you don't have a tag on that corner, place one of your tokens there. Push one piece from your inventory onto the ring in a straight line. Once the piece is completely on the ring, stop pushing. Any standard pieces that you knock off are added to your inventory. Any special pieces go back to the supply. At the end of your turn, if you have tags on all four corners, remove the four tags and you get to push another piece, leaving the platform where it is. After your turn, the player to your left will go, and turns will continue in a clockwise manner. If playing in teams, teams will alternate turns. As soon as you knock an opponent wrestler out of the ring, you win! In a two-player game, you'll also win if you knock the title belt out. The game can also end if you knock your own wrestler out of the ring, or if you run out of pieces to push. In either case, you lose. Alright, so on your turn, either before or after pushing, you can use your wrestler's signature moves. Each move can be used at most once per turn. So, who are the wrestlers and what do they do? Each card details how the wrestler and their signature moves work, but I'll just give a brief overview of each of the wrestlers. Apex replaces your regular wrestler, and if your wrestlers are touching, your opponent is forced to stack a piece. The liquefier gains his specialty piece if you push out two pieces on a turn. And if both of your pieces are on the board, you get to push an extra piece this turn. Green Destiny lets you stack a piece. And then in the future, you can gain and push all of the stacked pieces next to your wrestler all in one turn. Patience, young grasshopper. If Morizashi's specialty piece is touching the opponent, you can grab that opponent and stack them on top of another piece on the board. If Midas's special piece is touching your wrestler, you get to tag an additional corner. Dude. Lets you pay your opponent to push your yin-yang piece onto the board. And if both pieces are on the board, you gain a medium piece. Queen B is my personal favorite, allowing you to stack a small token to gain one of your specialty pieces. And there are five of these worker bees, which you can push all together as a nested group. The Great Bug Bino. During setup, you'll wrap this piece around one of the posts. And throughout the game, you can remove your tag to swing this bat all the way around, collecting any pieces that get knocked off. What are you still doing here? You know how to play the game. Go have fun! If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Until next time.